We are asking the question why humans uh, feel that life is hard when, uh, you know, and we are genuinely asking the question, why do they find life difficult? Why, why, uh, is it because, is it partly because that they compare, always are uh, gauging their own self? Uh, against others. Of course, that's how humans learn and how humans develop by uh, mimicking others and by if they find their boundaries by pushing others, if you like, and then when the others push back, they say, oh, that's it. That's as far as we can go. So perhaps that's why humans then start to find their own life difficult or hard because they are always looking at other people. They are always being, uh, you know, being, they are reacting and being reacted to by other people. Because when people are uh, not isolated from the world, but separated from the um, the day to day living of perhaps being in a city, living in a home, going to work, having family, and so on. When people are removed from that and are living with even nature, uh, and they are when we say living with nature, we mean living with nature. So with everything you're supplying yourself from nature. You're not having to earn money for example to go somewhere to 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 buy things to to live you are actually living with nature you live with the seasons you live with the climate you live with the terrain you you create uh, shelters uh, for yourself if you require them from what is there you have uh, no belongings if you like uh, you are just uh, totally free of all of those hum those material human trappings that people think are so necessary for life. Necessary for life, right? Uh, these people, they are few and far between because uh, it's hard not to necessarily live that way, but it's hard to make the shift to living that way. You have to be a very particular kind of person to do that. Uh, and we're not saying that they are superior to others. It's just, uh, we are just using this as a talking point in, in the discussion that these people seem to not have the same difficulties in life. They're not worried about whether uh, they are fulfilling their purpose. It's meaningless. This idea of fulfilling their purpose is not, no longer meaningful because they are living their life and they're living it in a way that is nourishing for them, for the nature that's around them. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting discussion why humans find life hard and even you can say, well, look at these children that are abused and this and and uh, people that are, you know, um, hurt in some way, war. Yes, but humans are doing this to each other. So humans are making other humans' lives hard and in the process making their own life hard. So if you look at just, if you're looking at your life and saying, oh, life is so hard. Maybe you are making your life hard. Maybe life is not hard at all. But you are making your life hard. Or the person is making their life hard. And other people, maybe if you said they are making my life hard. But then again, looking to yourself to say, am I making my life hard? Am I actually making my life hard? If you look at... Um, you know the, the the rules and the regulations and the laws and the 
the um, the norms in society that are prescribed by governments, um, the culture, uh, the media, and what have you. Uh, those things make life hard. Now, if people turned around and said, actually, they don't make my life hard, I make my life hard, and started to choose differently, uh, we wonder what would then happen. Because uh, by making people's lives hard, these other institutions, if you like, are able to control It's a thought. If they were not able to control because people were taking control of their own life in a way that made them happy, that made them feel like life wasn't hard. Uh, interesting thought.